I have a bone to pick with you guys, but first I'm going to give you the recipe for this passion fruit tiramisu. Back up on my bullshit. Today we're making no bake passion fruit tiramisu. This is no bake, but this is not a fast process. We have to first make our passion fruit curd and our custard because these things have to go into the refrigerator and chill. Now you shouldn't even be getting this recipe because the views are pathetic on the Baker My Bestie. You guys asked me for Baker My Bestie all summer while I was on hiatus and then I come back with it and you didn't even run it up. I'm not gonna do it if you don't support it. Of course I care about you, my OG supporters. This is why I'm doing this. But if it doesn't work for me, I have to pivot. When making the filling, we added mascarpone cheese and heavy cream into our custard. I dipped the tip, that's what she said, beat you to it. I dipped the tip of the outer ring of ladyfingers into passion fruit curvature chocolate. Then dip the bottom layer of ladyfingers into the passion fruit puree. From this point on, we're just doing alternating layers of ladyfingers, custard, and passion fruit curd. This marbling is completely unnecessary but it is beautiful now this is just a feast for the eyes ain't it creamy you get all this for free the least you could do is like share save and follow if you don't support me i can't do it anymore now i'm gonna take some fresh passion fruit and use it as a garnish now these bad boys are like four dollars each so <laughs> it's up to you now it's time for the release the recipe is in the caption the least you could do is like share save follow bookmark engage with this or i'm going to quit this cake is a lady so she gets a bow